the first thing we'll do then is have a look at what the random question generator looks like so I'll go down to slideshow down here click on slideshow and then we'll see a series of questions very quickly rapidly appearing on the screen we press S on our keyboard and it will stop at random a slide which will bring up a question in this case you can see it says give an example of extrinsic feedback so we would obviously direct that question either to the class as a whole we might direct that to individuals within the class we might direct that to a cluster a small group of individuals there are lots of different ways that we can do this we would get them to give them the feedback we would get the class to um, see if their response was sufficiently good enough we might then elaborate on the response etc we press the keyboard again and on we go with the questions stop it again and another random question is shown for us give an example of a growth skill so it's a really great way to very quickly cover lots of content that we've uh, we've perhaps already seen in the curriculum and uh, a snapshot way of just quick fire questions to get our, get our students thinking and remembering what the content is and where necessary applying it to their learning let's look then at how we built this out so obviously the first thing that you've got to do is create your deck your cards your slides with your questions and what I've done as you can see is I've made them very very big um, I've got a nice big border here I'm on font size 96 depending on the number of words in your question so obviously it's going to fill the screen lots and lots of lots of questions no answers at this point just loads of questions once you've created that I think I've got 130 questions in this so this is covering the whole of the specification in this particular area on skill acquisition but you don't need to wait until you've covered all the content on your course before you can start using this but what you can do is once you've created your cards is that you can hide some of the cards so only the cards that you want to appear uh, will be shown to the students if the random generator stops at that particular card the way we do that is we go up to slideshow and then we will go hide slides so you will select any slide that you don't want to show so it may be that I don't want to show uh, what is a fine skill and give an example of a fine skill so I'll just keep those selected and then go up to hide slide and you'll see that there's a cross there a little line through the number that me and it's faded out that means of course that that will not be shown once our questions are being shown on the big screen and then when we're ready for these to be shown just make sure we select them again and then go up to hide slide and click on it and then they are appeared as you can see no, 13 and 14 are there again so it's just a really useful way of getting ahead of the game planning your year out perhaps your curriculum your content your specification your syllabus and then gradually scaffolding and building up on those questions that you want to cover as and when let's look at how we make this to make the random question generator I'm going to go to transitions I'm going to make sure that none is selected we don't want any transitions at all I'm going to go over to this area here this is the key area so you can see already that I have the after box selected so advanced slide after and then no time there so we don't want any time indicators there so make sure it's zero 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 everywhere there and then make sure that you click apply to all and that will apply to all of your slides in your deck the next thing we need to do is go to slideshow up here click on slideshow and then we need to go to set up a slideshow so we click on that and then we get this window here it tells us various things about the slideshow the key thing here for us to make sure we have it selected is loop continuously until escape if we don't select this what will happen is those questions will keep generating until we come to the end of the deck and then it will stop so in order for it to continue to go back to the beginning and continue to to play randomly we need to ensure that loop continuously is until the escape is selected once we've done that we click OK and then we are good to go and then we'll go down and check on slideshow and there we are S to stop S to continue S to stop S to continue so it's actually a very simple way of producing it once you've built out your question cards just to recap on that transitions none advanced slide 000, zero after is selected and don't forget to apply all to make sure that it will work for all of your slides I hope you found this video useful and if you did please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe icon and I'll see you in the next video.